Hello student, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about how do assets and bases react with each other. Okay, so we will uh, do one activity based on this. Okay, so in a test tube, so let's say this is a test tube. We will take some 2 ml of NaOH solution, sodium hydroxide solution, okay, in a test tube and add 2 drops of phenol phthalene. Phenol phthalene solution, 2 drops, okay. And now observe the color of the solution. Now drop by drop add HCl solution in the test tube. Okay, HCl. This is NaOH plus phenolphthalein. Okay, two drops. So you will uh, see that the color of the reaction mixture changes okay and why did the color of the phenolphthalein change after the addition of a an acid now you see that of after the adding of hcl acid the color of the solution changes okay now add some NaOH again to the solution so you will see that the pink color of phenolphthalein reappears reappears okay so what is the reaction that basically taking place when bases reacts with acid it forms water basic solution okay and this reaction of acid and base to give a salt and water is called as neutralize Neutralization reaction. Okay, so this is called as neutralization neutralization reaction. Okay, in which the reaction between acids and bases to give salt and water this reaction is called as neutralization reaction students okay so and the general form of neutralization reaction is called shown here base plus acid gives rise to salt plus water okay students so this is the basic form of neutralization reaction now we are discussing about reaction of metallic oxides with acids. So now student we will discuss about reaction of metallic oxide plus acid. Okay. So the main reaction that takes place when metal oxide reacts with acid to give salt plus water it is similar to the neutralization reaction student okay so what you can do is take a small amount of take a small amount of copper oxide so let's say this is copper oxide in a beaker in a beaker and add add dilute HCl slowly while stirring ok so you need to stir it regularly so what you will observe that the color of the solution changes color becomes blue green because of the copper metal okay and the copper oxide dissolves the blue green color of the solution is 
due to the formation of due to the formation of copper chloride cucl2 okay so this is why and this is the general reaction of when metals reacts with metal oxides reacts with acid okay students now we are discussing about when metals non metallic oxide react with base reaction of non metallic oxide with base okay students so do you saw the reaction between carbon dioxide and calcium hydroxide so this was the reaction this is non metallic oxide plus carbon dioxide okay hydroxide plus this calcium hydroxide which is a base reacts with carbon dioxide to produce a salt and water so a salt of cso3 plus water is formed since this is similar with reaction with the base and an acid so we can conclude that metal oxides are metal oxides are acidic in nature okay because this reaction is these oxides of met non metal are acidic in nature okay because this is somewhat similar to a water is released when these reacts with carbon dioxide okay so now we can say that the non metal oxides are metallic in nature so students i hope that what we have discussed so far in this lecture uh, there will be no doubt and if you have still any doubt then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning